Hello everyone, it's Danielle and Karsten. We're on our holiday this year and we are in Shetland. We've just landed on a propeller plane in Sumburg. Sumbra. Yeah, Sumbra. And um, we're now in our little courtesy vehicle or our vehicle for the week, which is this little MG3. And it's quite nice, look. Look at that. Say hi. Hi. Anyway, we'll give you an update. Um, but that was a great flight in here, it wasn't that choppy and really kind of exciting to see it because it just lands because it's right on the waterfront. So very cool, very cool indeed. Anyway, we'll give you an update and we'll keep you posted. Bye! This is a view from the airport everyone. Look at that. We've just passed Jarlshof which we're going to do on the way back. So then an old look, look, here's the broth. The old scatness broth. That is so cool. Yeah. I'm going to get this shot right across the runway. <laughs> Can't believe we're driving over a runway. That's just mad. Just made it. it. That's cool. So yeah, everybody, this is uh, the roads. And again, we'll keep you posted. I wish I could summarise how utterly beautiful this is already. We've already passed several very secluded beaches. This is us on the way to St Ninian's Isle. Now, the reason being is, is that it's such an important place in Shetland is because you have this body of sand that basically connects to another island. And I think we can pretty much say how bloody spectacular this is. I'm really struggling right now. I can't decide what I love more. The beaches in Harris or all this. And actually, do I need to choose? I hope not. But I won't ever regret holidaying in my own country. Absolutely beautiful. So we've just left the mainland, we're on the ferry to go to Unst. Yell. Yell. Unst we're going tomorrow. to Unst tomorrow. So we're going to Yell. We got a there you go, I've seen it at the back. So it's like a 15 minute boat ride to Yale. And it worked out for two adults, so they work it on how much it is for an adult, not a vehicle. It was around about £21.70. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just a 15 minute ride. And I'll show you what's happening. So that's us. Ferry boat. So we are now on Yale and we've reached our first destination, our first place that we're staying. Now it's right behind me, but before I show you, I need to just show you the view, okay? Look at that. I mean, that's magic. 
So this is our Airbnb for tonight and I think for the next two nights I'm going to show you it because honestly it's exceeded expectations. This is the little lounge area as you come in. Karsten's already getting the fridge ready for Um, Got all the amenities. Yes. Look at that. Absolutely cute as hell. Anyway, come into here. Hallway. But the living room is right here. And I adore it. Because not only does he have a banging music system, but he's got all the uh, Viking items to tickle me pink. A little fire. That view. And here's the sofa, which I'm spending the next couple of nights on. And that's some book collection. He's got books everywhere. He's a musician, the guy. Um, by the name of Barry. In fact, do you know what? Let's give Barry a call out, shall we? Barry Nesbitt. That's his album. Which we're actually going to play later. Yep. So, anyway. Focus, please. Thank you. So, anyway. Hallway. Lovely. This is bedroom one. Again, cracking books. And then, sorry, it's not focusing. Excuse all our stuff being in here, down here. But this is bedroom two, which I'm guessing is the main master bedroom. So we're going to sleep in here tonight. Brilliant. And then we get to the bathroom. So we have a shower, which is fantastic, and a bath. I got a bath the other day because I thought I couldn't get one when we were away. Um, so yeah, I'll plan to use that. Yeah, it's just fantastic. So. The plan is, is that we are going to tidy up, get stuff ready, because I am cooking loads of seafood the next couple of nights. And we're going to maybe go for a walk, see how it get down to the water. I might not swim today, but I might swim tomorrow, it depends. Um, but we'll have a wee walk down to the beach, see what it's like. Started day two on the ferry going to Unst. House is right here. We'll go in in a minute. Apparently it's free, but they're looking for donations. And there's the boat. And Carson's already at the boat. <laughs> this is very cool. So we go on it. Let's go on it. That boat trip that we've just done there, the ferry was actually really good. Ten minutes and um, yeah, fantastic. Everybody's really lovely. I think you can go on this, so let's try. We live in my Northman. Movie. God, he was so hot in that movie. Pretty much hot in everything, isn't it? Can you tell why you're marrying Carsten? He looks like a Viking. Right. That is very cool. 
What do we think, ladies and gentlemen? Do we think he's doing a good job? Are we there yet? <laughs> house night here we go spooky oh of course it doesn't help I'm wearing my sunglasses Donations. I'll need to go and get some change. And this is Norwich Beach. Now we just spoke to a girl in Victoria's tea room who actually swam in this yesterday. So I am going to swim right there. Go and get my stuff, pull it on. It doesn't seem that many people that I can embarrass when I'm getting changed, you know. It's absolutely beautiful. Wind's not too bad. Drive here two seconds from um, Harwick. And I think we also passed the new space station, Saxon Board. Uh huh. So we can say we've been here before it became an actual full on space station. Just back from a swim in Norwich, yeah. And as I was coming out the water and drying off, Carson said, "There's something in the water." And we've watched for ages, and we think, after speaking to a local lady who was there with her kids, we think it's been seals. So I've been swimming with seals. They probably thought I was a big version of them, to be fair. Um, but yeah, so we're now on our way to. Skull. 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 And this is Skull. Now we have to be careful on this beach due to the fact that bird flu has been found with the birds. And I can't film right around because there's kids. But if you're coming here, it is a single track road. And it is a bit scary. So basically get a vehicle with a better engine. But we've also just passed the space station. Which is getting built at the moment. Which is on the right hand side. Which I'll show you once we get closer to the water. But it's lovely. Really really lovely. And then, that's it there. It turns out we're right! As we're walking towards the water, we seal just stuck its head out. Out here. Cheekily watched us walking along here. I hope it does it again. That was really cool. So this is the famous northernly bus, yeah? Shelter. Shelter. Bobby's bus shelter. Bobby's bus shelter, right? Now, it's cracking, it's funny, but what's made me more excited is they actually have a generosity thing where you come and help yourself to home bakes. And there's cake. So yeah, you just take cake, put money in, and that's you, and Carson's all chuffed because it's biscoff. So he's all chuffed and now we're heading back. But he's probably wanting a bite now, ain't you? <laughs> yep, we good? Yeah. Well, we came off Unst now 
and we were just heading back to apartment, uh, sorry, the Airbnb, and they've got a cracking shop in uh, Colourful. I mean, literally better than some small Tesco's, I'm telling you. But anyway, we decided there was a beach that had, you know, marked up as being a really good beach to swim, apparently. I don't know if that's true now. Um, I would always make sure that you check before you come, but what's this called? Breaking Sands. Breaking Sands. Ready? Look at that for a view. Absolutely amazing. Go for it. So checking in the map, if you go in a straight line, the next thing you come to is Greenland. Iceland's, Iceland's like over there. That's, that's how far north we are. That is so cool. Casting with the map facts. Map men. <laughs> so it's day three and we are making our way round Yale today. Yep. So we've came to the White Wife. It's a monument. I'll tell you more when we get there. And I believe there's chances of seeing otters today. So it's quite a driving day today, but that's okay. The weather's a bit mm, questionable, but in fairness, this is better than some weather we're getting back home, apparently. So, right, here we go. So this is the White Wife. I don't know too much about the story, but I'll look at it when I get in. Um, you have to park in a car park up the top there and then walk the way down. Walking boots is essential because there's some amount of sheep shit, as you can see. Because there's sheepy weepies everywhere. Definitely a walking holidays, a walker person's paradise, Shetland, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're now having a cheeky wee look at the water because I believe there's otters in this area. So we're going to have a wee look and see if we can find any. But yeah, um, if you don't like walking, probably not the greatest. But to be honest, the walk down here was five minutes. It's just a bit wet and damp. Oh, crab. Um, some little seabirds had a crab for tea. Um, but yeah, there, there she is. Carson says she's a bit creepy. <laughs> I said to him, we live in Glasgow, so... There's more creepier things in Glasgow to be fair. And also, don't do a me. I put my outfit today out and I've not taken the right socks from my walking boots, so the ankle socks are currently making their way down my foot. So yeah, not the brightest moment of me. But yeah, so you've got a wee uphill walk. There's quite a lot of hills in Shetland. So just be aware if you're not a hilly person. I don't like walking hills and whatnot, you're probably going to have to do quite a bit of that. This, I believe, is sound, or maybe sound of wick, yeah? Ness of sound. Ness of sound. Um, we were hoping we'd get across it on the gangways there, the bits of land here, but we can't seem to find access to it. I think we might have missed the junction. So... We're going to head to Windhouse, I believe. One of the most haunted places in Britain. Ooh. This, ladies and gentlemen, excuse the shaky camera footage, is Windhouse. Meant to be the most haunted house in the islands. Maybe even the most haunted house in Britain. But... While we wanted to make this a point of call to stop and see it, we're a bit lazy today because it is right up this hill. And it's quite fun. Not only that, we've already walked well along the road here because we thought there was access to get to it. But it doesn't look like it is, so it means that we actually have to walk right up this hill. And I'm far too lazy for this today. We just decided after driving around jail for an hour or two that we were a bit tired. So we came back to the Airbnb. 
give a call out to Barry again and we just had a sleep, drank coffee and tea and ate some things you generally allow yourself when you're away on holiday. But we're away to... Breaking sands. Breaking sands. That's just not perfect. Whole thing to see dolphins, whales, or my personal favourite, basking sharks. So we're going to try and take ourselves over to the edge, which will obviously will be the deepest part of the sea, closest to this. And um, maybe hopefully see something. At this point, I'm starting to wish that I paid the money to blow and buy a drone. <sighs> but it's so lovely. The weather's actually held up. It's a bit windy, but there's nothing major. I think we've also just seen seals as well bobbing their head in and out of the water. But yeah. I think this is it. I don't think we can go any further. Let's see. Why did I think there was a bit of land here you could cross over? There's a path, but it's a full on cliff edge. So, yeah. I don't think we can. Uh, Mostly our way over that, eh? Yeah, but it's coming back down, it might be the issue. Well, we've sat here for about 20 25 minutes. Yeah, got really excited there because a big splash happened, but it turned out to be one of the little birds. They dive really quite hard, but yeah, we're going to walk back to the beach now. for the seals as well. The water behind us is so bright because the sun's fully on it. We're really concentrating in the water here. Charge us, but I'm still going for it. 